Alright, what is up guys? SN3 here, coming back to you with episode 2 of my World at War Nazi Zombie Map Pack 2 Getting the Achievement Playthrough Guide thing, whatever I'm doing, basically it's planning to get the achievements, um, yeah, so, episode 2, just, uh, quickly, going to play. I'm sorry the first episode of this series, I didn't get an achievement, but... It was more just explaining what was going on and and happening and everything like that, so, you know, yeah. Um, so, by now, uh, I've had some, I've had two Yu-Gi-Oh! videos out, real life. Uh, I've had a Gaga -ga deck profile and a premium gold unboxing, which were fun. And my Gaka deck, I have made changes. So, uh, yeah. I'll just go over them real quickly because most likely you watch everything on this channel because I know you. So that's why you watch everything. But, um, so I've added a bottomless trap hole. And if you know Yu Gi Oh!, then you'll know I should have had these in there anyways. I added a bottomless trap hole. I added a. I, well, I took out the dust tornado and added a bottomless trap hole. I took out the ZW unicorn spear and put in a breaker, the magical warrior. And what else did I take out? I took out. I took out and I took out a um an overlay region. I think is what it's called. And put in a summoner monk. So pretty simple, you know. Um. What is it? Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to take out the Trance, the Magical Magician, if I can get a Gores. So, yeah. Get a go and then that should pretty much wrap up that deck. Unless I take out some more trap cards. Then that deck will be finished. So, yeah. Uh, what else we got? Oh. Uh, just to explain why I added those things, the bottomless trap holes are pretty much given for the 1500 special summon for the XYZ and stuff or banish it, you know, things like that. Um, the summoner monk is to get out my Gaga Magician if I don't have one. Um, because I normal summon it and then I get rid of spell cards, which summon a level 4 monster from my deck. And then, there you go, and then I, you know, party all night. Um, the breaker was for this, basically the spellcaster trio, and he, whenever he's normal summoned, he gets the spell counter on him at 300 attack. I can take off the spell counter. Oh, well, I can take off the spell counter and basically destroy a trap card in the back so that's that um, I'll keep going but let's just m move on to the second game because that game kind of sucked all right guys so as I was saying um the breaker is to basically destroy back row an MST on a monster or a 1900 monster so it doubles its purpose or I can have a 1600 monster and it's a level four so Pretty nice. I'm probably gonna add another breaker. I'm probably gonna take out um what's it? Magical Undertaker and throw in another breaker. Um so that way I can have a little bit more cards and everything like that. Well, I want more cards, but I'll have better cards. Um I mean the Undertaker's okay if my Gaga's are out, but you know they're not. And I'll probably take out, if I can't find another one, I'm going to put in another Gaga Revenge. And I'll probably take out a, uh, let's see, what I take out for that? I don't know what I'd take out. Um, I'd probably take out another region or something. I mean, I, what am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the overlay one, or the spell card where I add... Material to my one of my XYZ monsters, which I mostly only have those in there because of Gaga Cowboy. I can add it 
and then in a couple turns burn it again. So it's nice. It's like a free 800, Sorry, negative 800 life point. But Gaga Cowboy's already nice. dead. Then it's kind of in there for no reason because I mean the other exes I have are okay. Um, I do need to get a big eye though for my extra deck. I feel like that'll pull it in and maybe a uh, a Draco Sax for the uh, tokens. So yeah, that'd be nice. Double. So yeah, it's pretty much. I told you all my Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge right there, right in one little piece of a video. I'm gonna try to survive as long as I can in this one room, maybe. Because, you know, I can rebuild barriers and get the zombie kills. I haven't been getting headshots and I can't see. Headshots, what is this one? I got this gun. I don't think I've used this one yet. Okay, this one. This gun will do me well. But. Yeah. So that's really all I have to talk about. I'm sorry about episode one. I'm also sorry about the beginning of this video with it dying, but, yeah. So. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to talk, just, you know, kind of mindlessly. I don't know how people do it. Like, just sitting in a room by themselves. Yeah, I'm doing that blank out thing like I mentioned in the first one that I'll probably be doing a lot of. I like this gun. This gun's decent. Insta kill. There's an achievement for that, but I'm never not gonna be able to get it because there's probably not ten zombies. So let's just rebuild barriers. And Go on. Now I'm pretty sure the barriers count, even though I'm not getting points for them. I hope I hope they count. Also, I don't know if instant kill goes for the headshot things, because technically their head comes off, or if it just counts as a kill. Either way, it's fine to me because there's an achievement for the kill, and there's an achievement for the headshots. You know, it'd just be better if it did count for the headshots. Yeah, points. Alright, I'm probably gonna open. I need to open another door pretty soon. Get, start getting some more kills out here. Keep your claws to yourself, freak bag. Yeah, headshot. What? Alright, so I, I, I'm basically building up points. Nuke! That didn't even help me one bit, but why not add a nice 400 points to my thing here? So that way, whenever I oh, I hear a monster. I mean, I hit zombie. I'm trying not to get trapped here. Um. So that way. Something other new. Wait, no, yeah, the points. So that way I can just make a quick escape. I don't know. I can't remember how many boards I gotta repair. But I've been repairing a lot so far. I guess the strategy would just be this. Oh, crap. Oh! Well, that sucks. I don't know been recording. Well, I'm recording like. 10 minutes or something. I guess we'll try one more game because you guys can see how much I completely suck. I got 15 headshots and 30, 33 kills. So I guess I guess I'll play right now just to go for uh, kills. So yeah, let's move on to the third game of this crappy thing. I'm terrible at zombies. Alright guys, so I'm back to uh, to this point. <clears throat> Round 2, a good, a good spot. I'm just going to Grind some points right here. I need to get some or try to get more. 
Boosk. Alright, so now I got two, two, two G's. I'm gonna open this barrier. I should probably open this one every single time because it takes me to the Mr. I box. Okay, well, I got a crappy gun from that box. What is this? Thompson? 1200, dang. I'll take a spin at the box before I do that. My barrier is always not down. I don't know. <laughs> well. See, this is hard because I don't really have much to talk about. I don't have that many videos coming out right now um, or anything like that. I don't really play with fans, I guess, per se, you could call it because I don't have that. I don't really, I really don't have any, but I don't know. Probably going to start some things with uh, with MLP Hunter, which is, or MLP Hunter 13, which is just Hunter on the site. Or not the channel. So, yeah. Can I get, can I get 10 kills with insta kill? Oh! Oh! I could have been my 10th kill and I could have gotten an achievement. Well. Yeah, I'm not I'm not good at zombies as you can tell. This is three games and I've only got to highest round four, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully I can do better. Hopefully it'll be one game done better in the first game. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Zombies. Attack of the zombies.